Hello everyone, my name is Yogesh. Uh, in today's video, we'll be discussing about why data science certification doesn't help in getting the job or a career option in data science. And the reason for recording this lecture is because I know I have done the course, I am a data engineer. So what I found is the things which is promised during these courses are totally untrue. And we'll discuss why that uh, why that is untrue and how you can figure it, fix the things which are not there in the course if you are especially doing right now then if you just go through this video and figure it out like I, the things which i will tell if you just follow them you will be able to have an alternate career in data analyst now that is one thing which i want to say so before starting this year let us go through one simple quote the quote says what what get measured get accomplished without measurement you are just fooling yourself now now if you just think this quote applies in all the places now think about your data science now before starting the data science course you were unable to measure number of opportunities present in the data science and most of the people who are doing the data science course think they will be able to get a career in data analyst instead of data science and that's why they do the course but this course is totally not for a data analyst or i can say a business analyst person and i will tell you the reason for that because the tools the way things done are both different so the first thing is whatever you if you cannot measure what you want to achieve then you are literally fooling yourself so how you measure it how you measure a career is like do you have the options is the skills what you are gaining will help you in getting that or not okay so this video will be very short don't worry i won't bore you but it will be all constructive thing whatever i will be discussing with you so let's see how a student starts with so general roadmap is i will do a data science certification and then i will get my job in business and data analyst profile the reason is why you don't target data scientists directly because you know you are not a domain person secondly you are not uh, you can say uh, masters or you can say uh, you can say a doctorate in uh, mathematics so you know the company won't directly make you pull you as a data scientist in their you can say company so you try to go in data analyst profile and then you want to jump into a data scientist now where is the gap what is the problem okay now skill set which is required for business and data analyst which is the center point the steps two which you want your career to direction you in the data science position is business and data analyst now the skill set required for data science you can say business and data analyst are totally different uh, from the data science uh, you can say from the data science or data scientist skill set the reason is for data analyst or you can say data engineer you need to know data integration from getting the data from different source which you call also like you will learn as a cleaning process get the data clean the data and do xyz but that is a job of a you can say data analyst more than a data scientist so if you see data integration getting the data from different source visualization how the data looks which is the data more relevant and all and then cleaning and transforming so this is called as data cleaning and i am i'm pretty sure all the teacher would have said like 90 percent of the time goes in data cleaning but if you actually see that is the part of data analyst so uh, so the thing is what you do in the courses or you can say in the training is not at all right way of doing it because you need tools for that just python won't help you just r won't help you and if you are just doing cleaning in r and uh, python you can do on one csv but what will happen if you have thousands of the sources so now the things changes am i right so if you see let's say you are working in a company now you want to analyze the data let's give an uh, example as a medical like a clinical uh, you can say the analysis you have to do now the clinical data is available on multiple things uh, it's on your you can say fitness tracker and you have to analyze that also and then you have data in the hospitals which has been uh, the observation against you and suppose there is some portal where a community portal also where you are feeding your data so you want to analyze now there are three different data source minimum three data uh, different data source now how you will pull that so the first thing comes is data integration in you can say uh, this first step of the data cleaning is the integration first get the data then visualize it visualization why it is important because you need to know the data you got is actually what you need and the third thing goes is cleaning and transforming so that now the data can be used for data analytics you can say data science or machine learning or whatever you are doing so now how you will figure it out what you are missing in the course now let me guide you with that so the what should you do is you need to know or learn at least two or the three uh, at least two tools from each one of the category one is for data integration so if 
I will give you a simple example. Most of the company who are doing data science operation, they are doing it in a data lake environment. Data lake environment is nothing but a huge data, which they have. Now in those uh, data lakes, the most of the tools which works are open source tools like Airflow, Druid, Kafka, Stream sets. That is for data integration. So any one of them you can learn. The best skill you can learn right now is Airflow because it's a, you can say right now it's hot in the industry. Google use it for scheduling their jobs. Now Airflow is nothing but a, a workflow. So workflow, uh, you can say, let's say you have multiple steps of getting the data. First, you have to get the data, download it, and then you have to process the data. So some steps will be parallel. You can execute in parallel. Some set uh, you can execute in, you can say sequential. So Airflow help you in writing the workflow and also scheduling it. And also that is in Python. There is no other language you have to do. So the uh, language is Python, but the tool is Airflow. So you need to know at least one tool go with the airflow believe me it will get you at least job calls and then coming to the visualization so power bi is something which is more morely industrial standard so which is used everywhere but the power bi is something like which mostly comes with the microsoft stack so if you learn power bi it's well and good learn it ssr is you are learning very well and good you learn it but one more open source tool which i will say is superset superset is one of the best open source tool for data visualization i will just give you some a small example so if you see this is a superset here you can design your dashboard so this is our sample uh, you can the superset i just created for dvd rental this is an open source database in postgre so here i can see which are the countries which are mapping uh, you can say uh, renting the dvds and all these are the number of uh, you can say country and the total sales and i can see the world map also what is happening in those countries, how many, and I can see the visualizer data. So this dashboard, it can be easily drag and drop created. You don't have to code for the visualization. You have to just code for the data, which you want to get. Once you have the data, then you can just tell superset to uh, visualize in different, different forms. Similar way, this is the one example which they have given. This is the population, ruler population map in the countries. So these are the India and China. So here you can see the map, how beautiful it is and how it is very easy. Believe me, it is very easy. I can just edit it. If I just go in this edit dashboard, I can easily drag and drop any, you can say, uh, chart and easily design the dashboard. So the only thing which I have to worry about is the, you can say my, data from where the data is coming and for visualization this tool is one of the best tool you can go especially and in an open source environment so this is where very good tool so the reason this whole video is coming up because i want you to learn airflow and superset along with your data scientists you can say certification or if you have already done it learn these two tools at least these two tools and up, uh, upgrade your resume and start applying jobs for these two tools because there is specially jobs for just airflow and just superset there are special uh, special jobs so as i said learn airflow airflow helps you uh, help uh, anyone to schedule and design workflows which is related to data which is related to cleaning and whatever your transformation whatever you want to do you can do in airflow and then once the data is transformed or even the data is not transformed it is available in the raw form still you can visualize it using superset so it's a reporting dashboard so i hope this video will help you in going for a right direction uh, coming uh, forward i will be publishing tool in how to design uh, dashboard in supercent and how to design air workflows in airflow uh, that you can subscribe to my channel and you will get notification whenever i will be publishing i will publish soon if you have any question please let me know in the comments so understand one thing the cert, whatever the people are promising in certification believe me that's totally untrue you won't get the job and if you just use your brain how many data scientists you need to train a model you don't need thousand people but you need a thousand people just to get the data and process the data because that is the bigger part uh, so as you know in data science it's all algorithm the model you train the algorithm you design so once the algorithm design maybe a couple of people or five people has worked on it but to run that algorithm on a data you have to bring the data so there are more jobs for data analyst than the data scientist so and the if you have targeted your path in data science certification then data analyst believe me the whatever you are learning in the course will be somewhat help, helpful but not completely so you need to know data integration tool airflow is one of the best if you want to jump in uh, get a job as quick as possible as a fresher believe me company will surely invest in that person because fresher 
rarely come up with that uh, skill set and then the super set okay i hope uh, i have cleared your question if you have any question please let me know in the comments for sure i will respond you back and please uh, keep an eye on the video i posted i will be publishing videos my videos are never for just the beginners it's for, always from beginner to advanced and the advanced so I, in the one video itself, you will get a knowledge from beginner to advanced. You will be somewhat near to the advanced and advanced is totally separate. I don't do beginner, intermediate and also it will cover beginner and intermediate. So I, please let me know anything in the comments. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.